Biological treatments of OCD. So the spec requires you to know in particular drug therapy. So that is the method of using uh, medication to treat OCD. And we're going to look at in particular SSRIs. So SSRIs are selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. And they increase the level of the neurotransmitter serotonin within the synapse. So they do that by preventing the reabsorption of serotonin within the synapse, so it's prevent it being reabsorbed by um, the neurons and prevent the breakdown of serotonin within the brain. So effectively, it increases the levels of serotonin within the synapse because it can't be reabsorbed or broken down. Now, typical doses per day are 20 to 60 milligrams depending on the effectiveness on treatment and sometimes it is combined with CBT for an effective treatment for OCD. Now SSRIs aren't always used, there are alternatives. So tricyclics um, break down the reabsorption of serotonin and noradrenaline into the presynaptic cell after it's been fired from the neuron. So as a result more of those neurotransmitters are left within the synapse. So it effectively increases the levels of serotonin and noradrenaline within the synapse, which is believed to reduce the symptoms of OCD. Now, to cope with the anxiety as one of the symptoms of OCD, anti-anxiety drugs such as BZs, benzodiazepines, can be prescribed. Now, they are commonly used to reduce the levels of anxiety that the person with OCD experiences. So they slow down the activity of the central nervous system because they enhance the neurotransmitter, which is GABA. Now, GABA is our body's natural calming neurotransmitter. So when GABA is released from the neurons, it has a quieting effect on the neurons and in the brain, which effectively makes the person feel relaxed. So therefore, BZs enhance the action of GABA, so they increase the action of GABA by making the person feel more relaxed and less anxious, which should help with some of the symptoms of OCD. Now, if we are to look at the evaluation, so we have some supporting evidence. So in a review of 17 studies that used SSRIs to treat people with OCD. It was found that they were more effective than placebos. However, we have contradictory evidence in that yes, it might be effective in the short term. However, it doesn't appear to be effective in the long term. So it doesn't appear to be a lasting cure. It treats it relatively effectively in the short term, but not for a long term uh, bias. So therefore, it could be that we take an interactionist approach to treating OCD. So, for example, when we said we combine the use of SSRIs with CBT. So um, SSRIs helps with the short term whilst the person is learning the techniques of C CBT. And then the CBT can be applied for the long term strategy in helping them deal with OCD. Now they are quite useful, so they require little effort from the user and input in terms of time. They are also quite cost effective. However, there are side effects, which means that they might not be appropriate for all. So they do cause nausea, headaches and insomnia. So a person might stop the medication if they experience side effects. So therefore, it might not be an appropriate and effective treatment for OCD. Now, when we come to test uh, OCD and SSRIs, most of the uh, research is sponsored by the drug companies that produce the drug treatments. So therefore, there is an underlying bias in the way that the data might be calculated, presented and demonstrated. Also, if you think back to peer reviews, most peer reviews publish research that has a significant result. Therefore, um, a problem with the research in the 17 studies, so Samoro's research 
is that he only has access to research that has been published. Therefore, there is publication bias. Most research that gets published and gets through the peer review is research that demonstrates a significant result. So it could be that actually the effectiveness of SSRIs is being overemphasized and exaggerated and they might not be as effective a treatment as first thought. Now, if we were to look at some um, questions that you might get, you might get a 16 marker that's around this. There hasn't been a past paper question yet. So outline and evaluate biological treatments to OCD. You could get outline and evaluate drug therapy as a treatment for OCD. So you would do your AO1 of SSRIs, tricyclics, benzodiazepines, and then your AO3, your evaluation, so the strengths and weaknesses, trying to embed some issues and debates if you can, but don't put them as a tack on, shoehorn it in just because it makes it look good. It can actually bring down the effectiveness of your evaluation if you do not apply it in an effective manner. 